The vast landscape of the Tofimvaba region in South Africa. For the learners in this beautiful environment, the distances they need to walk each day to school can be demanding. With many schools scattered in this rural district, the authorities are faced with a number of challenges to create a suitable learning environment at each school. Tech for Red is an initiative between the Department of Science and Technology, the Department of Basic Education, the Department of Rural Development and Land Reform and the Eastern Cape Department of Education to improve the quality of education in rural environments. The objective of this initiative is to create an opportunity to examine whether and how the introduction of technology improves the quality of teaching and learning in a rural context. The project demonstrates the many ways in which technology-intensive interventions through public and private partnerships enhance the teaching and learning experience of science, technology, engineering and mathematics. Because I can't be an engineer without mathematics. Within the Energy Working Group, Anglo-American Platinum, the Department of Science and Technology, Clean Energy Investments and Air Products are demonstrating the use of platinum-based hydrogen fuel cells as backup power for ICT equipment and potentially primary power at three schools in the Tofimvaba region. This is called the e-fuel cell, where we use it for charging our tablets. As the school, we no longer use our, our electricity this is our substation for, the, for, for, for charging. It does not only charge the tablets, but it, we also our Wi-Fi is connected to it. Then the tablets are the ones that are being charged and they charge overnight. You see this load shedding, it does not, it, it does not affect the tablets from charging. If there's no electricity, that doesn't mean that our tablets will not be charged. Clean Energy Investments is a South African fuel cell company co-owned by the Department of Science and Technology and Anglo-American Platinum. Clean Energy Investments designed, commissioned and is operating and maintaining the fuel cell power at the schools. Air Products is a global chemical and gas company and is supplying the hydrogen used in fuel cells. Anglo-American Platinum, the world's leading producer of primary platinum and other platinum group metals. Platinum is used as a catalyst in hydrogen fuel cells. The Fuel Cell Education Initiative, designed and sponsored by Anglo-American Platinum and in partnership with the Young Engineers and Scientists of Africa and the South African Agency for Science and Technology Advancement. This education initiative integrates the topics of hydrogen fuel cells and renewable energy into the science lessons. Theoretical and practical activities are part of the lesson, increasing awareness and stimulating interest in science and technology. Through the electrolyzer, the platinum in the electrolyzer to split the water into hydrogen and oxygen. And there's your oxygen. So the formula for water is H2O. Dr. Ron Bayers, the director of YESA and lecturer at the Nelson Mandela Metropolitan University, has conducted practical lessons to almost three and a half thousand learners in the district. Learners have benefited from specially designed demonstration kits where they experienced science in action. We've taken in um, clean technologies in the form of uh, hydrogen fuel cells into the schools as demonstration kits to try and spark the enthusiasm amongst the learners to try and contextualize science, technology, engineering, maths and innovation. In essence, a human capital development program to experience the energy that the learners themselves portray. They overcome cultural differences, language differences. We're able to talk a common language of technology uh, and science. There we go. I was thinking our school is the very poor schools. I was very excited because I didn't think that people could come at my school and teach us about technology and science. And then connect it and that car moves. And I was like, wow. They have seen it in the class. 
but they don't see it uh, when it is done practically, whereby everyone ca ca can see when hydrogen and oxygen separated. It's going to change my life because I want to start this engineering. So it has given me an imagination of how engineering can change our lives. I want to be a scientist. I, I want to be information technology. I want to be a scientist one day. I think I will be because technology is just an exciting subject. If it is implemented in our community, it can provide jobs and also can educate people more about how we can save our electricity and also go green. The awe and enthusiasm of these future engineers and scientists is testimony to the success and the impact of the technology-led innovations for rural education. Technology Today, leading learning and teaching in rural education tomorrow.